So welcome to this lesson on magnification. So as you're aware now, cells are too small to see with the naked eye, so a microscope is needed to study them. However, when we see an image, how do we actually work out the size in real life of that particular image or photograph? Let's look at a couple of examples from the animal and plant world. So from the animal world, let's look at a liver cell. So let's just find a magnified image of a liver cell. There's one there. Okay, let's just move that around to the top. Give us an idea. Okay. And we also, from the plant world, let's look at a magnified image of a palisade cell. Okay. There we go. Let's see if we can find a magnified image. And we can. Okay. So this guy here has been magnified up about 1,500 times. This guy here has been magnified up around about 500 times. So the question is, how do we work out the actual size of these objects? Well, in biology, we have to have some idea of units of length. So the size of a structure of, or of an organism is measured in these units of length. And the units of length we tend to use are the millimeter, which equals one thousandth of a meter. So a thousand millimeters goes into a meter. We have the micrometer, which is one millionth of a meter. So a million micrometers goes into a meter. And finally, the nanometer, which is a billionth of a meter. So a billion nanometers make that in a bit more prominent. A billion nanometers goes into a meter. And there are two equations that we can use to determine the actual true size of an organism uh, using its actual measurement and a known magnification. Okay, so the first equation we can use is known as the magnification equation. So magnification of an object will equal the measured length divided by the actual length. And if we rearrange that equation, the actual length will be equal to the measured length divided by the magnification. Okay, so those are two very handy equations that we can use. So let's just look at a simple uh, lactobacilli, okay, right here, okay, and that uses something, we can work out the actual size of the object by using something called a scale line, okay. So that is known as a scale line, and so that means that the distance from here to here is seen as being one millimetre. However, when you get your ruler out, of course, the actual distance between points A and B is more likely to be one centimetre in this particular scale, okay? So that means for every centimetre, okay, so for one centimetre, it's going to be equivalent to one millimetre of magnification. So if we want to work out the diameter of this lactobacilli bacteria, you get your ruler and you can find that it is approximately, say, 1.5 centimetres. Okay? So that means that for every centimetre, it's going to be one millimetre, so you're using a ratio, so it's going to be 1.5 centimetres divided by the one centimetre of the scale times one millimetre, which is, of course, 1.5 millimetres. And you can also work out the magnification using uh, this first equation. So if we go along, we can 
see the magnification is going to be equal to the measured length which is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 2 meters divided by the actual length which is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 meters notice I've changed it to standard form which equals uh, that cancels out, that cancels out, so it's going to be 1 times 10 to the 1, or 10 times magnification. So that's one approach to working out magnification and size of an object. The other possible approach is, say you have this Staphylococcus aureus, and it's given the magnification of, oh, that's not quite right, the magnification of, say... 50 times okay so the actual length is going to be equal to the uh, looking at this equation here now the measured length so say we have that as being 5 millimeters okay it's going to be the measured length divided by the magnification which equals 1 over 10 if we do some degree pokery it's 1.1 oh, 0.1 millimeters okay so that is in a nutshell how you do these calculations okay so just a few pointers for um, those doing IGCSE uh, point number one okay is make sure lengths converted to correct units okay the same units because you'll notice here what I did here was I converted them both into meters to make the conversion easier um, remember the two formulas which I've already given here okay and the second point is that uh, because we're extended students, extended students in IGSE, you will be using millimeters or micrometers, not uh, centimeters or millimeters. And that, in the essence, is magnification in IGSE biology or biology in general.